Checking in. Jonathan here, and on every episode, I review a new piece of home gym equipment. And today, from Bells of Steel, I have their brand new leg extension and leg curl attachment. Most home gyms have absolutely no variety in their leg day routines, and most people don't have the space required or the money either to buy leg-specific machines. And today's product that we're reviewing may actually solve both of those issues. Woo! Before you trolls blow up the comments section, I fully admit and agree that the squat is the number one premier primo leg exercise that cannot be beat. But let's face it, many of us are just bored of squatting set after set on every leg day, and some of us have nagging injuries that do prevent us from squatting, or at least squatting yeah, heavy. Man. Let's be frank, most of us miss those beautiful leg isolation machines at our local gym. But we can't afford the Boku bucks or the floor space required to buy those machines. Insert bells of steel. Based out of Canada, A, established in 2010, they do sell out of the United States as well. I've been a big fan of theirs basically because of the transparency and the honesty in their advertisements. Their prices are really good and their customer service is excellent. They released a heavy duty hero bench, which I previously reviewed, and a buzzsaw bench, and they hinted that they would be releasing attachments in the near future. Well, welcome to the near future. Say hello to the leg extension and leg curl attachment. Coming in at a price tag of $150, and that is if you need the bench adapter. This thing does have 8.5 inches of loadable pin, and it does come with a black powder coat and a one year warranty. I will tell you the setup time for this is less than 60 seconds. It goes in smooth and then you are off to the leg day races. Let's answer the biggest question right out of the gate. Does it mimic, does it feel like the leg extension and leg curl cable machines? You know the ones that I'm talking about at your local gym. And when I pick this thing up, I had my hesitations. I thought it was gonna be wonky, it was gonna be a little bit of fugazi with regards to the feel and the resistance, and I was wrong. This thing comes goddamn close to being exactly like those machines. It's not 100%, but man, oh man, the resistance is smooth. You definitely feel it in your teardrop muscles as well as in your hamstrings. And you can do one-legged extensions and one-legged curls as well with this attachment. Time out. You have all been using my affiliate links, which are in the description of today's video. And when you use those links, they do support the channel. They support my energy drink habit. Let me know when you use those links so that I can send you a small token of my appreciation. Just like the machines at your local gym, if you go too light, and too fast, you're gonna find the resistance becomes weightless because you're gonna be kicking, essentially, the actual attachment off of your leg. After a huge amount of testing, I was able to dial in this leg day attachment to feel almost exactly like the machines at your local gym by simply adding a slight band around the base. That makes the resistance feel extremely smooth and consistent, and the squeeze on your muscle is like no other. How heavy can this thing go? The spec says 200 pounds, but what does that mean? We've got an 8.5 inch loadable pin. Just for reference, when I load this up with bumper plates, which clearly are gonna take up more space on the pin, I still can't lift all the weight that I can put on here, right? So this thing is gonna be heavier than I can actually lift for more reps than two. Now, if you use metal plates, it's gonna be fantastic. You can load this thing up and go to town. However, let's just be frank. If you're that person, you're that gym bro at the local gym that pins out the leg extension machine and you hit reps of like 15 or 20, well, you're probably not gonna be able to put on enough weight here to give you that kind of resistance. But for us mere mortals, this thing's gonna go heavier than we need it to. 
Now, Bells of Steel wasn't the first one to come up with this concept, and in recent years, there have been a lot of new releases to mimic your leg extension and leg curl. So I wanna go over just some of the competition so that we can go into this purchase with our eyes wide open. Number one, Titan Fitness just released a rack attachment coming in at $450, which will do both leg extensions and leg curls. If you go on Amazon and you wanna buy the cheapest of the cheap leg extension and leg curl machine, you will be looking at $400 minimum. Coming in at $800, is Bulletproof Fitness's Isolator. Now, I haven't tried that. I haven't gotten my hands on it. I've heard good things. And obviously, it does do more exercises than just leg extensions and leg curls, but it's still $800. After over three years of not going to a local gym whatsoever, have I missed leg extensions and leg curls? More than I realized. Many of you know I have a bad back and it is extremely difficult to do legs in my home gym. A lot of the squat exercises that we know to be fantastic, that we love, just set my back on fire and it's just a trigger point for my herniated disc. Now I have been able to carve out some really good leg days, some really good leg routines in my home gym, working around and adapting to that injury. But man, oh man, it's something about having that isolation that just hits different. It allows you to go really heavy without fear of snap city. And it allows you to target some of the aspects of your legs that are just harder to feel when you're doing those big compound exercises. What's the catch? We know the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. And there's two major issues with Bells of Steel leg extension and leg curl adapter. And I don't think they're necessarily deal breakers, but we got to talk about them. Number one, this attachment, it's awkward, it's big, it's bulky, and it works great. But when you're not using it, you got to store it. And you sure as heck can't just throw it up on a pegboard. It's awkward, it's bulky, and you gotta figure out where you're gonna put it when not in use. And the second issue, especially with the Bells of Steel heavy duty hero bench, is that when you add that adapter on it, you're taking a heavy bench that is beautiful, a fantastic built bench that is stored vertically, and you're making it a little bit more cumbersome to move around as well as to pick up and store. It still can be stored vertically with that attachment on it, but keep in mind you're taking a heavy bench and you're adding some weight to it. If you're someone that's training to look good and you want your leg days to consist slightly more than just squats and deadlifts, then the leg extension and leg curl adapter from Bells of Steel is an absolute great pickup, especially at that price point. And my money is on the fact that Bells of Steel is gonna be releasing even more equipment to go with their attachment in the future. If you made it this far in the video, you and I are like Saul Goodman and Perry Mason. We're like Mr. Beast and releasing brand new energy drinks. We're officially best friends. If you're looking for ways to hit legs in your home gym, check out this video. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.